Uh, I'm a huge fan of the concept of Eurovision in the sense that I love how it, it began because it was to bring people back together after war. And so every territory had a representative and I think that's so cool. And I think honestly, it translates really well for the United States right now. You know, we can feel very divided. So it's really cool that every single territory and state will have a representative and everyone, it's almost like a, a sports event, you know, like with music, it's, it's amazing. And everybody has a, a team to kind of root for. Um, and I just think, I think it's an amazing thing too because it stands out because it's about the song and not necessarily just the artist and how much you love their voice or whatever. It's, it's really about the song and how much it can move you and how powerful a song can be. Well, and going off of what you just said, why do you think a show like this is so necessary right now? I think a show like American Song Contest is necessary right now because what it did, what Eurovision did in Europe was so beneficial for um, camaraderie, for everybody to come back together. And I think the same thing is needed now in the States. And what better way to do that, you know, than, than via music? And so what inspired you to be involved in American Song Contest? And what do you bring to the role as a host? So it's funny, I, I was working on The Voice and um, one of the producers um, that works on The Voice was talking about doing this new show and it's called American Song Contest and I kept pulling at her all the time backstage with The Voice because I was like, what, what's going on with it? Are y'all gonna do it? Or I was so excited that they were bringing the Eurovision contest like here and, and kind of Americanizing it because I, I remember traveling overseas at like 19 years old and I was like, what is this contest? And I was like, oh my God, Abba's from like all these amazing artists had come from this contest I didn't really know about and grow up with. So I I thought it took long enough for one for the concept to get here and I just think it's a, a really cool thing because I've already partnered with the people I'm working with on this show via the voice as well so it's kind of cool um, to have a rapport and a relationship with with these people that I've already been working with and they know that I truly do love the concept of the show and I'm very excited about just as much as excited as they are. And speaking of people you've worked with before, are you yeah. excited to work with Snoop again and what yeah. makes him the perfect I am so stoked to work with Snoop again because we worked together on The Voice and it was fun to work with him because it, it just when you think like he's like he's like kind of introspective and he's kind of listening and I'm like I don't know if you fell asleep or I don't know what's happening and then all of a sudden he would just say something so prolific he was listening to every single note he had so much to add to it was just really cool to see I feel like sometimes artists can get jaded in our careers and we lose that fire and that passion. I thought it was really cool that he was so into it and he was so into helping the artist, you know, achieve the best version of themselves that they possibly could and help them work out the song. So I think that genuinely like Snoop and I are both fans of music of all genres. That's what I loved about Snoop too. He loves all genres of music and I found that out working with him. So I am a huge fan of all genres of music and usually cover all types of music. So it was just kind of a perfect pairing, um, even though it probably seems odd. <laughs> and going off that, you and Snoop come from different sides of the musical spectrum. So why yeah. is it important to have representation from all different musical styles throughout the, the country? Yeah. You know, the coolest part of this contest, too, is that literally you will have artists of every genre. And even Snoop and I are from different genres of music. But at the same time, we love soulful music, we love a message, and we love being the vessel for something powerful like that. And I think all artists are like that, whether you're country, whether you're R&B, pop, you know, Latino music, like whatever it is, there's, there's room for everyone. And I think it's very important that we're including that because we're a vast country full of many different types of cultures and people. And I think having that rep representation is so important, especially in a contest like this, because you don't want to leave a genre out. You don't want to leave a vibe out. And, and, um, and I think that that's what's cool is like everyone is being represented here. And let's talk about the, um, the contestants. What are you excited to see from the 56 artists? And can you share a bit about the variety of what viewers can expect to see? Mm. Man, when I was showing the list of artists, I went to like the Spotify playlist that the producers gave me to kind of just go and see like what kind of artists were coming on. And it was, first of all, I was floored because I didn't know we were having so many legacy artists. So we have legacy artists, we have new artists. They're all very different. And that is literally, I derive so much joy off of so many different genres of music. And I think people think that, oh, if you like country music, that's all you like. Or if you like pop, that's all you like. No, there's room for everyone. We like 
We lack songs that move us. We lack songs that mean something to us and we relate to and we connect to. And I think that that's what's really cool about this show and what I saw in all these different artists. You have, you know, dancers and singers, like they dance, they sing, they put on a whole spectrum like that. You have rappers, you have R&B, you have pop, you have country. You have, it's just across the board, the, the playlist that I was shown, I was so impressed with the diversity, which is very important to me. Yeah. This contest, they're seeing an original song. Yeah. Do you have any advice for the 56 artists on how they get their audience to connect to an original song? Yeah. Um, you know, a, a lot of contests, are. it's always focused on you singing other people's songs you're covering. That's the coolest part and why I was so excited about being a part of American Song Contest because you are actually getting, because a lot of these artists on other shows really want to showcase their songs, right? This is the first time we're really getting to hear who this artist is, like why are they singing these words, why it matters to them, what's in their head and their heart. And honestly, my advice to all the artists is don't, it's the same thing I do for any artist like trying to be on radio, don't chase what you think a hit is gonna be, don't chase something. You have got to be authentic to yourself because it's transparent when you're trying too hard to like just get a number one or just do something like, it needs to matter, and 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 I will give the American public that they see through it. Like they will, they will sniff it out, and they want you know transparency, and they want authenticity, and they want a song that that really does mean something to you, and not just you think will be successful. Great. So on American Song Contest, all the songs will be performed live in a big way for the very first time. Hmm. So how does that raise the stakes for the artist, and how do you think that will affect the energy of the show? What I love about it is, you know, these artists, they have this one song they're going for the whole time, right? But you have this huge production. So that's what's cool. You get to really focus in on this song and you get to figure out what is the best video that's gonna go with this or lighting or, or vibe. Because each, even on tour, when you're putting together a set list, like each song has its own little story. And so with all these songs, you're gonna get its own little story visually, sonically, like it's all gonna be, you know, you're gonna be experiencing all at once. And I think that that's really cool that, American Song Contest is focusing on all these performances and really making everyone count and exactly what these artists want in that moment. And, you know, from an artistic point of view, an artist couldn't ask for a better situation. And um, there are many singing competitions, as yeah. you know, but never in the same show is there every state, every territory, D.C. represented. Yeah. So how do you see the rivalry, rivalry among states playing out in the competition? Yeah. You know, there are, you know, many shows where people are singing and there's contests, but there's never been one that really has been so inclusive. And, you know, we really want everyone to be represented in this contest. And I think it's one going to bring us together because everybody's watching and rooting for your home team, possibly. But also it's one of those things where maybe you wouldn't have, have heard of any, you know, this kind of music. Maybe you like country music and you wouldn't have heard and thought, no, nah, I'm not gonna like rap or I'm not gonna like this pop song. But then you're gonna get, you're, we're giving the American public something they like, but also something maybe different that they don't know. And it's, you know, that's the coolest platform to be progressive in is music because it's a it's an art. And so there's room for everyone. And so I'm I'm very excited at the fact that, that inclusivity is so important now and I feel like this show is really showcasing that, you know, um, stronger than any other show out there, so. Absolutely, and finally, what do you think it will take to win this competition? Honestly, I mean, you know, I, I haven't watched, you know, what how American Song Contest is gonna play out. I'm gonna be doing it with y'all, like, you know, live with y'all. Um, having been in the shoes and having been a part of different things is, authenticity is so important and I feel like that is what's gonna win. You know, if you're authentically representing yourself and you're, you know, putting a song out there that really does matter to you and it's a message that means something, whether it's fun or, you know, just passionate or just sad, like whatever it is, I think that literally authenticity wins every time. 